With the results of the 2024 U.S. election now known, we know what's getting ready to happen to cryptocurrency. Now, if you don't, then you've been sleeping under a rock. Uh, Donald Trump was elected the 47th president of the United States. And regardless of how you feel about him or policy, he is the better candidate for cryptocurrency. He's the one that will move the needle. He is the one that crypto rallied behind. He gave a specific plan. He told you what he wanted to do. And now the only thing left is the implementation of it. He wants the United States to become the crypto center. He sees the importance of digital assets, and that means regulations will start to unravel, the SEC enforcements will slow down, that we are looking at a golden age in cryptocurrency, and that includes that right there, Luna Classic. So uh, buckle up because it's about to get crazy. Now, also, in the meantime, what happened as the market started to move and as Bitcoin last night achieved another brand new all-time high, guess what? Luna started. Luna Classic started to have a recovery. Let's check it all out right now. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. If you like me, subscribe to the channel. If you don't like me, subscribe to the channel just so you can talk mad shit about me in the comment section down below, baby. All right, let's go. So Terra Luna Classic price could soar 207% after this breakout. Basically, guys, look, this is what I've been telling you the entire time uh, to begin with. Like, I've, I'm giving you the numbers here. I don't even know if they're talking about me when they're talking about somebody said this. But um, uh, the, there, there's clearly, clearly uh, a path forward right now in which uh, we're moving to three zeros, 28, uh, three zeros, two sort of range. Now, look, we're going to disagree probably about some of the, the, the portions of the range. But as you can see from this article, they're telling you the same thing that I'm telling you right now. So again, it could have been that they were referring to me, but who the hell knows? Uh, anyway, um, if you haven't already, Terra Casino, look, they're giving away 2 million euros. If you haven't, you got to go check them out. It's new now in December 22nd, uh, 2 million euros. Uh, you can play first of Olympians now. Remember, they just gave away $2.5 million uh, to one single player. Guys, that's absolutely insane. And you're not even signed up and you're not even playing. I know because I take the link in the description down below to see whether or not you signed up. It's crazy that you don't like money. We're in the golden bull, baby. It's time to throw some money around and get rich. So do what you got to do. For the purpose of Commonwealth here, we've got the direct request uh, for from Vegas for access to the Terra Classic dashboards going to all nodes. And look, it, it would be my opinion here that we should probably just kind of... Um, uh, Somebody's going to have to put up their proposal, so uh, might as well be Vegas, I guess. Uh, then we've got the proposal for the official CMC links. We don't have a website. D did I mention that? We still don't have a website. So, um, look, there, there's there's certain things that we're going to have to do, we're really going to have to do to make this thing really start to soar. But we're at the spot where we've got the candidate that's going to make it soar. So, um, yeah. Now, if you're trading meme coins, make sure you're trading on Terraport.Finance. Remember, I'm trying to earn over here. I've got myself locked up here for another eight days, earning a little bit of yield. I'm on this, the lowest tier here at the 16% APR. And uh, on the launch pad, averaging 7,656 Terra in my wallet. Now, it, by the way, I think it's based on a 30-day average or something like that. I still haven't bought any new ones. Uh, I, I, I'll get to it today or tomorrow and we'll have it because I do want to get it, take advantage of it running out of time here. So we're going to add to the bag and see what happens. But over on Coin Hall, you can see that there's just been a nice little lift on everything. Garuda X up 14.5%. Juris up about 7% today. Hamster Meme popped about 9%. And as you go down the list here and you start to look at some of them, you can see that, you know, we're starting to hit a little bit of a move back to the upside. Look, we're not recovered yet, but we got a little move back to the upside and Lunk coming through with a nice little price spike. So let's look at the price spike for Luna Classic. But before we do, let's talk about 2020, right after the election. This is the part that matters, and this is the part that I want you guys to know. That blue line that we have right here, this is the election in 2020. And what did we get? We got a nice big green candle. What are we up today? $148 billion. We got a nice green candle. But what happened in the days abs after, the subsequent days afterwards? You can see here that over the course of, and by the way, there needed to be a little bit of clarity. And there's a couple of places that haven't really called the election yet. But they will, and when you break this down, uh, so we had this big, big, big move right here, uh, came perfectly down to the golden ratio after one to about three days of pump. So the, the euphoria of change, whatever that change was back then, 
is, is right there. So you can see it on the chart and you see it kind of playing out here. So uh, what I expect to see is we're going to see the same thing probably happen. Now, uh, the move from as an estimate here, if we take a, a, a move and we go up, up, up and away to the top of the range there, it's about a 20% pump over the, over the, the two days after the election. So what would that look like? at this point so um there is the election candle right there there's the day after what are we getting so far so let's consider here that we're on about 12 percent right now so i would expect to see an eighty-one thousand dollar bitcoin or a 70 you know getting a little bit higher up let's talk about you know to get 20%, we need about eight more percent, which is gonna check out right here at around 81,000. So I would expect to see Bitcoin probably running to about 80,000 very soon. Now, what does that mean largely for the rest of the market? Well, let's go back to total three. Total three is the part that really, really matters over here because total three is the one that includes uh, everything except Bitcoin and Ethereum, and that's where we come in. So if you take this November election again, and you look at it from this context, and we go to November 3rd, because that's the date that we're looking for, uh, on or around November 3rd, right about here, right? What do we see happen from that spot on? Let's, uh, so here's November 3rd, right here, and then up the top in a couple days, about 20%. Overall, about 70%. Uh, before the end of November. So 70% increase on average for meme coins during that period of time and for altcoins during that period of time. So we're in the spot right now where things are about to get crazy. So that means let's focus on Luna Classic. Now, this is what Luna Classic looks like on the daily. Now, the fact that we didn't kind of range back up here and drop that zero, you should be alarmed by that. You should be nervous because we just had uh, just a really nice burn. You, you should you should be looking at that being like, why did we not get discovered? That's the important part. Like, why did we not get discovered? Why did we not have this big, big move? Well, um, the, the when when we were looking over here at Terraform Labs to make their burn on time and they did not make their burn on time, people lost a little bit of faith and then they ended up getting wrecked because it didn't happen the moment that they did. So they sold and then what happened, it dipped down tremendously and then what happened, we got the burn and then now they're mad. So we got about a 15% pump off of that, but still not a correction all the way. Now, we're gonna have to break this resistance at three zeros one. And then after that, there's going to be a breakout. Now, when there is a breakout and there will be a breakout, just consider if you will, the, the broader market will go up 70%. So consider if you will, that where we are right now, what does 70% look like? 70% puts us at around three zeros, 15, five. So, uh, and I would think based on this, there's kind of a little volume node over here. I would say like right in that range. So when you zoom out here, it makes sense that this is the next spot of appreciation. Uh, but here's the thing, M micro caps like this, like we're, you know, we're kind of micro capish at this point with about 460 million market cap. So, um, you know, this could really spike to two or 3 billion in, in, in a market cap scenario. Everybody loves an underdog. Everybody loves to run it back. We just ran it back in America. So I, I would venture to say that we're probably going to see a very strong move. Now, can I tell you that that's going to happen? No, because I told you that we were going to break out and that Terraform Labs is going to do their shit on time too. And that was going to start a pump and that would create some FOMO. We'd be leading into the election with all these good things happening, right? Well, we didn't get what we were expecting to happen. Happen. And um, the, the you know United States gave us a new mandate. Donald Trump has won the 2024 election. Crypto is a parabolic and you don't have enough crypto. That's where Cryptonomy.Finance comes in. You can stake your crypto. We've got about nine months before the big part of the bull market is really kicking off. So this is your last opportunity, your final opportunity to set yourself up a long-term fixed staking plan. And guys, you're going to want to have some Tron, some XRP, some Ethereum, some Bitcoin, some of whatever it is that you like. Right now is the best time to take advantage of the opportunity to accumulate desired assets. And there's over 800 tokens available for staking where you can earn up to 180% APY. Also, for me, there is a competition happening right now in which I could win a prize by referring you guys over. I'm going to make another Tron deposit today because I've told you before, I think Justin is going to be one of the goats in this industry. Folks, one of my high confidence plays is Tron. I'm putting 2,600 Tron into a nine-month staking protocol 
with a yield of 71.8%. That's going to give me about four to 5,000 Tron by the time this is done. All right, guys, my Tron is set up. I am ready to go. This bull market is getting ready to happen. As we approach the end of the year, crypto is going to be hosting numerous giveaways just like in previous years. It's become a tradition. Uh, you, uh, you've got Halloween prizes, you've got Christmas prizes, and you've got newsletters that will allow you to see exactly what's going on. Don't forget the important part, in my opinion, and that is the launch pool. We've created multiple contracts over here. We're not creating a new one today, but as you can see from the returns that we're getting over here, they're getting significant multipliers with every investment for the launch pool. So make sure that you sign up for the launch pool today. So um, I, I, I would consider here that maybe it's just a, a cause delayed, if you will, because I, you know, I get the sense here and I get the real feeling that crypto is about to explode. Okay. So now that that's out of the way, let's look at Lunk over a very, very long period of time. This is weekly, and this is me using a full Fibonacci on a weekly uh, on a weekly chart here. So we're going to break this out. We're going to pop this, and we're going to do this one more time so you guys can see the whole thing right here. And we're going to break that down to the bottom. And what we're looking at right now is we're looking at a Fib breakout into... Uh, now remember that 15 kind of comes into play right there. There's a little bit of a range right there, and I probably need to pop this down just a little bit here because we're a little bit off, which will change the numbers slightly, but not hugely. All right, so um, this is what it looks like for the breakout. This is the breakdown right here. This is where it really, really, really broke down. So uh, in the long term, then I would suspect because we bounced off a of 382 twice and we have that descending channel and that descending, descending channel does exist. Um, and it's right here coming down here and you can see how it's playing perfectly, right? So uh, what I would suspect is we're going to have another move, probably this 236 over the course of uh, a short period of time. Then we're going to get this enormous spike. We're going to come back up here. We're going to make that test. But golden ratio, the golden ratio or the golden zone, I'm sorry, is where we're going to break out too, right? So that's going to be in the 3034 to 3042 sort of range off of this move. And it will happen, okay? Uh, but the question is, will it break out and get back into the golden ratio? Golden ratio is two zeros one. Is that going to happen? Well, the answer to that, uh, remarkably, Yes, because it only takes about $5 billion market cap for that to happen. And that, my friends, is when we were talking about it with the current market supply. And, this, and that supply was just reduced by $251 billion. So uh, it's making it easier to get up there. So we don't need that 10x, if you will, uh, from, the, from the same ratio. All we need is a little bit of momentum behind us. And then a little bit of information, a little bit of information, about uh, the important part. The important the important part is the ceramic burn, which we should be hearing about at any moment. Now, I don't know for sure that we're going to see that. I don't know. Uh, I just assume that as they said that was going to happen, that it will happen. So uh, fingers crossed that that is the next big move. And if it is, then breakout, guys, we're breakout. You know, we're at the spot right now where you could just see boom, just a big 5X candle coming for, for Luna Classic at any any moment, any moment, okay? So let's kick the rest of this around a little bit. Uh, volume is up to 30 million. People are getting excited. Uh, price is up 6%. People are getting excited. 105% uh, volume trading is up 7% in market cap on USTC. Um, Terra, Terra Money, uh, Terraform Labs has put out their statement. We already know what the statement is. We don't have to revisit that. Lunk Metrics, 100 million cat with hat just got burned. Remember, I just showed it to you. And guess what happened? Cat with hat continues to burn. And I, I guys, I warned you guys. I gave it to you, I gave it to you a, a while back. I, I gave you this number and you know, I told you what was going to happen. Like I, I, I gave it to you. You know what I mean? And, and if you didn't get in, I mean, by the way, if you did, your bag is doubled. You know, your your my fifty dollar bag is now one hundred and one dollars. So your bag would be doubled, okay? Uh, and it's just going to keep going. It's just going to keep going as this pairing gets more favorable. So what are you waiting for? Don't mess this up, okay? Don't fumble this bag. Uh, also, um, I, I look at this. So here's what's going on, okay? This guy is telling you uh, soon. Uh, Luna Classic 2, 3 zeros 13, 6, 86, uh, then 3 zeros 18, 4, 1, 7, 3 zeros 24, 7, 84, uh, 3 zeros 37, 82, all the way up to $2.22 and a half cents. This is nonsense here. There's no chance right here at the very best ratio. I'm sorry. Look, I, I don't want to be a buzzkill to anybody about it, but at the absolute 
very best, it is my opinion. I just gave you the wrong one. <laughs> at the very best, uh, we, we're like somewhere in between here. That the, the amount of burn that would be required to achieve this sort of level doesn't really exist in the system yet. And when it does, or if it does, it's not going to be a, as, as crazy as all of that. So I'm going to stop this right here and I'm going to say... You know, right here, just around three cents. Like, guys, I really feel like three cents is the maximum that we're going to see on on Terra Luna Classic. And I don't mean to be a buzzkill. I'm not trying to tell you that that we're not going to have a, an incredible move, right? I just think we should pamp that shit down just a little bit because some of these numbers just look kind of crazy. Again, it's it's reliant on the burn mechanism. We have too much supply. So if we want to see something like that, we got to figure out a way to burn an enormous amount. And I don't think that we have that way because if you remember where the wallets are and who the top holders are, we are absolutely stuck here with two trillion right there. So right off the top, there's one, there's three trillion, 3.4 trillion tokens. No questions asked aren't really going to go anywhere. They're going to go very, very slowly unless you guys step in and start to take your money off of Binance and we start to burn it on chain. So for right now, we are prohibited, prohibited at this point from any kind of gigantic burning move, okay? So it's going to have to be within our system, et cetera, et cetera, for that to happen. Guys, you got to check out every single one of these Kraken wallet, KuCoin cold wallet, crypto.com wallet, okay, X wallet. You got to check all of these out uh, in order to get really an idea on you know, what can we burn, how can we burn some of this. Again, it's going to have to come off of here. You guys are going to have to take your money off of these exchanges and start trading it through that repeg mechanism for us to see the appreciable burn of that type. So, you know, that's what we're going to need to see. So keep that in mind. That's what you're going to need to do. Now, the burns 250 to uh, almost 253 billion, um, you know, again, triples the amount that we had burned up to this point so far. Uh, still not looking at, look, I, look, there's 2 billion USTC in that bridge. Now, I, I do want to say this. I, I've, you know, I've been kind of looking at this and I think that it's already been taken out. Like, I really think it's already been taken out. Uh, at best, it's just going to be reducing the total supply. It won't reduce the circulating supply. I don't know that to be the case, but I feel like we blacklisted that wallet already. I'm just, you know, I think one of the props over there blacklisted the, the Luna Foundation Guard wallet. So, um, and I think we had that discussion a long time ago. So that wraps up that portion. Now let me talk to you about a couple of things here. First of all, Rocket Defense. If you haven't played Rocket Defense, it's rocket-defense with a c.com. Uh, really fun game. I've been having a great time playing it. Um, it it's a tower defense game. Uh, you, want, you run around as a little dude and, and you build uh, tower defense. Um, uh, you build, you know, fighting um, turrets and uh, power generators and you try to last as long as you possibly can and if you do it long enough then you last and you go to another level and another level and, another level, and you win uh, you win coins if you do that and I mean free money basically then you have Teratritium over here. Now, you guys know that I've played this. We've played this on, on screen. Um, I'm stuck and I'm trapped. They gave me a new login, but I didn't want to use my new login uh, because, yeah, they gave me a new login. Uh, so I got a new login here. Uh, we're going to we're gonna start playing again. What I did, though, is I built up enough stuff that, you know, you can't take me out of the game. So um, Teratritium, if you haven't, just, I mean, it's basically like Vikings, War of Clans, stuff like that. Uh, also, if you want to, Lunk Zombies. Remember, I also have a special login for Lunk Zombies. So that uh, we can go in here and show you guys how to play that. But it's a side-scrolling platform shooter. And uh, you're just killing zombies. Lunk zombies. That's exactly what it is. And then you have Big Bang over here. You've got Air Force Lunk. And Air Force Lunk is kind of like 1945 uh, in that you fly around on the screen and... Um, Destroy planes, avoid uh, shots, stuff like that. Uh, the point being that there is a nice little ecosystem of gaming that's available to you at any point to come play. So you can go check out Rocket Defense. You can go check out Terra Tritium. You can go check out uh, Lunk Zombies. Or you can go check out Air Force Lunk. And there's a couple more games coming. And some of them I just I can't talk about because uh, the games are, are they're, they're fascinating. RPGs, I love RPGs. So uh, if you find me an action RPG, you find me a Skyrim with Crypto. I'm in, baby. You know what I mean? I'll never come back to life. <laughs> so um, there, there's there's a bunch of games being built out here. There's a bunch of stuff in this ecosystem. Uh, it's all starting to develop and build. Um, you may not be seeing it because, you know, there's not a lot of retail out here talking about it, but there will be a lot of retail out here talking about it very, very soon. Don't take my word for it, though. Uh, just look around. 
Just, just look around. Um, Donald Trump is your president right now. The, the crypto markets are about to explode. And uh, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.